Song of the Blacksmith, written by Robert Gwalschmai, illustrated by Chantal Duclos. Song of the Blacksmith. Do you hear that sound? Do you know what it is? It is the music I make with my hammer. It is the song of the blacksmith. I am a blacksmith. My name comes from the metal I use. It is black. My shop has a forge where I burn coal. I heat my black metal in the hot forge. This time I will make a scroll. The metal gets hotter and hotter. It glows bright orange and sometimes yellow. The color of the hot metal is the thermometer for the blacksmith. Bright orange tells me the metal is the right temperature for shaping. It is so hot, I must hold it with my tongs. Nearby is an iron anvil. It is very heavy and hard. Its surface is flat and smooth. I hammer and shape my metal on it. I hold the hot metal on the anvil with my tongs. I hit the metal with my heavy hammer. The hot metal is so soft, every hit with the hammer changes its shape. The metal cools, getting darker and darker. Remember the thermometer? I need to hit the metal some more. I must put it back in the fire to heat it again so that it becomes soft. I keep the coal fire burning hot by blowing air into the coals. I use big bellows to blow the air. In my blacksmith shop, along with the music of my hammers, you will hear the big bellows, huffing and puffing, puffing and huffing. The metal is soft now, so I can get back to work. I use my tongs to pick up the metal. I put it on the anvil and hammer the metal some more. Heat the metal. Hammer it. Heat the metal. Hammer it. I stop when it is the shape I want. I keep a bucket of water close to the forge. As my piece cools, I can put it into the water. In seconds, the metal is so cold that I can pick it up with my bare hands. I won't be burned. Blacksmiths make lots of things. They make tools for the garden and wrenches to fix wagons. They make rims for wagon wheels. Blacksmiths make hinges and gates for the fence. They make knives and forks and spoons for the kitchen. Long ago, blacksmiths made spears and swords for the warrior. They made armor for the knights. Blacksmiths made shoes for the horses and still do today. We call them farriers. Long ago, there was a blacksmith in every village. Men and boys worked as blacksmiths. Wherever people worked with metal tools, there was a blacksmith nearby.
The song of the blacksmith isn't heard very often anymore, especially in the city. But look and listen. In a small town near you, you might hear that musical sound echoing from a nearby hammer and anvil. Smile, you have heard the song of the blacksmith. The end.